What is up, everybody? To reverse TV today, and we're gonna talk about Lego Horizon Avengers once again. This has been the big talk of the past week at this point in time because this game, this PlayStation IP, hit Nintendo. More news keeps coming out about this decision. Like, who made this decision? Some people were like, some people were acting like if Lego had the had the overall say so where this game goes, like they just they just had the ultimate leverage. But it seems to be it seems to be that Gorilla, the developers themselves, said, "Hey, we wanted this game to go to Nintendo so you have a bigger audience." So that, that means to tell me that the PlayStation of old, where you're going to play PlayStation IPs or see PlayStation characters on PlayStation, is dead and gone. They are completely fine with putting their IPs on different platforms, even, even competing platforms like the Nintendo Switch, which we thought would never happen before. It is now happening because. This person interviewed a Gorilla game developer, and a developer told him that LEGO Horizon Adventures and Nintendo Switch were a natural fit. I keep mentioning it, but we want this to be for everyone, and the Switch is really a platform that allows us to broaden the audience. So PlayStation really wants to try to get as much money as possible. They're trying to, I guess, be done with the whole exclusivity nonsense, which, if consoles start losing exclusive games, I'm completely fine with. I don't have attachment to these consoles to that point in time where... I'm going to be like, hey, they should not put these games on the platforms. I don't really care. I see how the industry is shifting. Microsoft is doing the same thing. They're putting their games to PlayStation and PC and Nintendo. PlayStation's following suit. But it's kind of funny how, you know, Microsoft gets so much criticism for this move. But PlayStation's doing the same thing. You're seeing PlayStation characters now on Nintendo now. And the developers are saying, hey, we welcome that. We want to do that. We want to expand our audience base. Another tweet... Sangrilla Games says it'd be nice for Aloy to get an invite to Smash Bros. They want, once again, a big PlayStation character to be on a Nintendo platform, one of their biggest games. They want the invite to Smash Bros. for Aloy. They want that to happen. <laughs> the way that Benjamin Kazooie got the recognition of being a uh, Microsoft IP, they want the same recognition for their PlayStation IPs. Because PlayStation gamers aren't enough. They don't buy exclusives like that, so they need this to reach a bigger audience. And now you have the pre damage control of some of these game journalists saying, Why the gradual death of the console exclusive makes business sense? So they're completely fine. It's just it's just hilarious how they're fine with these exclusives no longer being exclusives now. Before it was Xbox, it was a doom and gloom. Microsoft does have have, have no idea what they're doing. They're ruining the gaming space. But now PlayStation's doing it, you know. This is completely fine. It makes completely business sense. <laughs> Just complete hypocrisy. <laughs> the people who crucify Xbox about making their games multi-platform, why are they doing this? Are now fine with PlayStation doing it. Once again, PlayStation does it. Everything is fine. When Xbox does it, it's a bad thing. And then PlayStation copies what Microsoft does, so it's just even more. It's just more hypocrisy right there because they literally just copy what Microsoft do. But you know. Apparently, Microsoft has no idea what they're doing. You know, they're worth a lot of money, trillions of dollars, but they have no idea what they're doing. So, this is the console space nowadays. Some people might hate it. Some people might love it. I don't... Me, I'm indifferent. I kind of want the stuff to go multi-platforms. I can just have one box to play everything. That's the ideal situation. But these companies still want to kind of have some type of leverage on exclusivity, even though they're like half-assing it. Exclusivity is just weird at this point in time right now, this transition period. It's like you either want to make games be on all platforms or don't. Don't, don't do it. It's just very weird. But, yeah. This is the state of PlayStation right now. Their games are case-by-case bases. They open up Pandora's box. PlayStation might as well be a third-party platform at this point in time. Third time exclusive to PS5, but their game is going to be other platforms eventually. It's kind of the notion I'm getting from PlayStation right now. So, uh, It's just kind of funny how... Once again, PlayStation was like, hey, these games are only exclusive to PlayStation, but that is no longer a thing. And people want to deny it. They want to, like, say, postpone it, say, hey, this is only this one scenario. But once again, it's kind of evident that they want more money for these games. These games cost a lot of money. They want, they want to recoup that money by any means necessary. So it's just kind of the way that things go on nowadays. <laughs> so. The console wars are going to be pretty much interesting, or pretty much non-existent, so, at this point in time, because if PlayStation is bringing their games to every platform, then what is it really a console war? We'd be arguing about time exclusivity at this point in time. It was like, your games would be going everywhere, we'd be arguing about time exclusivity. It's just going to be a dumb conversation, so. What are people saying about this? 
Lego Aloy. So we have a PlayStation character and a Lego rep. Industry plant. <laughs> Call in this game with industry plant. If we get a PlayStation slash like Sony rep, I feel like there would be way better choices. Damn, Sony doesn't give a damn about their IP's exclusivity. I mean, some people said the same thing about Microsoft. Once again, we're in a scenario where Sony is literally copying Microsoft. Now the Pony executives are begging to put Aloy in the Nintendo game. Man, they really sold their mascot down the river with a quickness. You can't make this crap up. I mean, you saw how they ditched Sackboy. Sackboy is supposed to be the biggest mascot, especially like the PS3 generation. They gave... They, Gave Sackboy the boot with the quickness, so I don't know. You think they wouldn't do the same with Aloy? They're pushing Aloy real hard this time to put her on everything. You got TV shows, you got remakes, remasters coming out. The a Lego game going to different platforms. They're definitely trying to push this character heavy, which is kind of crazy. What is this? This is a frog wearing the PlayStation hat saying third party. Okay, so this is PlayStation. <laughs> so this is that boiling frog experiment where if you put a frog in boiling water over time they would just boil to death but if you put them instantly in the hot water they'll jump out so it's kind of like they're doing these moves these these actions of third party deals with their IPs it's slowly going to third party but the fan base just don't know it yet like all the criticism you did to Xbox PlayStation is doing the same thing it's kind of hilarious to be honest Aloy before Ratchet and Clank is crazy. Yeah, I would think they would put like the Jack and Daxter games, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank games on Nintendo first. But I think we're going to get right there. I think we're going to get to that point eventually. They're going to put those games, especially those kid friendly games, on Nintendo. It just seems like they're really just trying not to put their stuff on Xbox. Like, they're okay putting the stuff on Nintendo, having part relationships with Nintendo, but not Xbox. So you see, Xbox is their direct competition in the. In the high fidelity high end graphics uh console space this can't be right the internet assured me lego force gorilla at gunpoint to launch on the switch <laughs> so what these fanboys are definitely acting like that definitely giving that 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 like they were doing that everyone except xbox apparently and they're so hypocritical like they would say Phil Spencer is hypocritical by his stance, but they're doing the same thing. We won't put our we won't put our games on different screens, but not the one but not on Xbox. That's very hypocritical right there. Um It's so weird how Xbox releases some first party IPs on a bigger platform to reach more folks. It's treated so differently than PlayStation doing the same thing. Exactly. It's complete hypocrisy. From the from the journalists to the fanboys, it's just all all right in hypocrisy. Like, they're both doing the same tactic to reach a bigger audience. They're putting their games on different platforms, but people aren't having that same energy with the PlayStation one, putting their games on Nintendo. Like, it's big news, but the outcry is not the same as when we saw Microsoft putting their games to um to PlayStation. We literally had, like, the Xbox Civil War happen, where people who were known Xbox fans saying, I'm done, I'm leaving... You no know, little tan tipper tantrum crowd sessions they were doing on t having long Twitter spaces. You know, that same energy is not being kept here, which is kind of crazy. That's, the energy is not being kept. It's like it's not being kept, and we're getting articles like this where it's a good it's a good move on PlayStation to do it. Microsoft starts a weird trend and Sony follows. I don't get it. There's a reason why Microsoft is doing what they're doing. Sony has no reason to do the same. It's people still buy their consoles and games. Those are probably backfire in the end. Um, People buy the consoles, sure, but they're not buying those exclusive games like that. Like those, when you see the attachment rate, that's not true. People are buying Madden, 2K, they're buying FIFA, they're buying the most casual games possible. And the big, the biggest boost PlayStation is gonna get is when GTA 6 drops. It's like that's gonna be the biggest boost. It's not gonna be their exclusives. It's gonna be GTA 6. As it was Call of Duty before in the past, it's gonna be GTA 6 when that game releases, which sells the most PlayStations. So, but yeah, if you want to do the whole, like I said, the console word thing is pretty much dead. The only person who's really truly having exclusives like that is Nintendo. They're the only ones who are putting their games on the platforms. Everybody else is doing, they're putting their games on the platforms because they need the money 
these games are too expensive. So it is what it is. <laughs> it's like people going to have to adapt to this new console space, this new gaming space, or I don't know, quit gaming, I guess, because you're mad that people get to play your games that you don't, you don't got that, that, that special feeling that your games are exclusive. I don't know, but we're really a gamer to begin with. If that's what gets you triggered to quit gaming. As with some of these people, like I said before, have been acting like they act like Microsoft putting their games on a, a few of their old games with different platforms and left them to quit gaming. <laughs> it's just very weird. It is very weird. But at the end of the day, this is going to be the future. Get used to it. These games go to different platforms. No longer exclusive. The exclusivity thing is kind of dying at this point in time. So I welcome it. I'm fine with it. I don't really care either way. But these are my thoughts about this. Definitely want to hear yours, hear yours down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.